Well, we've been talking about it for a while. The new rewards card set is finally here. Please join me in this episode. Uh, we'll cover what I did right before the end of the season, right before the maintenance period started to uh, kind of make my last actions with the old set. And then we'll jump into what I got for my uh, end of season claim that glint and jump in and buy some of the new cards. If any of this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey, all you splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. If you continue to like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, things you'd like to hear about, uh, answer the questions I'm talking about in the videos. It all helps. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to jump into this video. Uh, a lot of things to cover, a lot of fun things, hopefully. Uh, to cover. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a two-parter because we have uh, some actions that I took this morning before I left for work, uh, which are like, um, I got up and I was thinking about some things with the old card set, what I wanted to accomplish. Uh, it was kind of just like uh, nagging at me. Uh, so I went ahead and jumped in and did those earlier this morning. So I'm going to run through that uh, part of the video. Then we're going to come back and we're going to claim some glint. As you can see, I finished the season in champ three. Um, at 38.20, I earned uh, 128,120 glint. We'll talk about that. Um, it's up a little bit uh, from where I used to be because I have a benefactor lending me some uh, some uh, SPS staked, so that is helping out. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in and look at what I did this morning. So here it is, the morning of the patch day, which the old rewards card set is cycling out and the new one cycling in. And I woke up just thinking, man, I've got a few uh, summoners that still are not maxed out. And the new rewards card set, first of all, will be costing more because the prices will be going up. And second of all, will not have summoners as far as I know. So I thought, well, I use these summoners quite a lot, uh, not more than my Chaos Legion summoners, but either way, uh, you can see that I came up with, I don't have enough to max out gold foils, but I came up with a maxed out Eternan Brune. I am almost maxed out on a Pembroke Nymph. I need three more BCX. I have a maxed out Lob Lowland. Uh, I need eight more for maxed out Fran's Rough Mane. Uh, not even close on Octavia, so I'm only at level 6, so I've got a good deal, uh, good ways to go on her, and I have a max level uh, Helios Matriarch, and, and if you've been watching my videos uh, in the last few months, you know that I've been trying to max these out as much as possible, and what happens is I ended up with um, a bunch of regular uh, rares when I buy the rare draws a lot of extra copies of rare draws so what I'm thinking about doing is burning the extra BCX I have over and above what I need for these and just go ahead and fill in for the uh, glint that I'm getting ready to do to take one final stab at a group of uh, rare draws here to see what I get so let's go ahead and use potions see what I get Okay, let's just reveal all. As usual, it's been... Oh, gold foil, nice. Uh, two gold foils. Uh, it's been about 50-50 usually. Uh, usually it's a little bit plus or minus here and there. But um, Another gold foil. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go through here and count, but you can see what I got. I got a gold foil Venari Marks Rat. Um, don't know how much good that will do me. I might unlock it. I don't know. He's pretty popular. Um, a gold foil Helios Matriarch, Riverboat Captain, Franz Roughmane, and Lob Lowland. Okay. 
let's go ahead and close that and let's go back and take a look at my set let's look at the summoners um, you need 22 to make max gold foil so I don't have enough for any of those um, let's see here did I get enough Pembroke nymph not uh, yeah I got enough Two. One more. Okay. So that's a win. Maxed uh, Pembroke Nymph. Let's go back. Let's look at my Franz. So I should have enough for Franz too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a win as well. Now let's look at my Octavia. I can just do a full combine on this. It will leave me in at least a gutter level to level seven, but I need 22 more BCX to level her to max. I don't know if I'm going to be able to push that or should I just wait and just buy those. And of course I'm maxed out on her. Okay, over here on my regular uh, rares, uh, I've got 25 extra BCX of this. If I go through and I burn that, that will give me 2400 glint. This will give me 6,200. I don't have him maxed out. Actually, I can max him out right now. One, two. So that's a good thing. Then I will burn this. Okay, plenty extra of this one. Keep my copy to use. Get 6,100 off of here. And uh, just enough to one extra to max out my Ravenhood Warden which is a very handy card, useful. Ah, miscounted too early. Need my coffee. Okay, there's my max level Ravenhood Warden. Not gonna fool around with the gold foils right now. Uh, this is not going to max him out, but I'll go ahead and combine him since we're here. Okay, where does that leave us? Or where does that leave me? Take off the gold foil. I was thinking uh, really about concentrating on unlocking and selling the summoners. Uh, so in light of this, with me having them all maxed out except for one, what I think I'm going to do is end up unlocking some of these and selling them and buying the copies of Octavia that I need. So. We'll go ahead and cut that off here. Okay, and I'm glad I went ahead and did it and didn't uh, kind of put it off and just buy singles because it was kind of bugging me that I had a couple of those uh, summoners that weren't quite maxed and there were only a few BCX off. So I'm glad uh, that I did it, uh, partially because the cost has went up in chests and, and draws and everything. But also, you know, we don't have any... Um, 
uh, summoners in this set. So I figured that uh, while I could get them, might as well. The only one I didn't end up maxing out was Octavia. Uh, and I'm going to try and get some uh, trades going on since we can unlock cards. I have some extra BCX of um, some of the other summoners, so I'm going to try to trade around if uh, some of the people I know uh, need some trades. Anyway, end of season got me 128,120 glint. Let's go ahead and claim them and then we'll jump into the reward shop and take a look um, by the, the release uh, and by what the team said in the town hall yesterday. Uh, there was supposed to be a slight and they said quote unquote slight increase in the prices uh, in the glint shop. But from what I hear from several sources, uh, this may be a little bit more than slight. Uh, in fact, I took a, a look at the numbers and what we're looking at is between a 40 and 50% increase in prices with the draws. Uh, and I don't know if that applies to the chests uh, as well. Uh, I'll have to go back and do a comparison, but I know that the draws are uh, went up. Um, the first three would be represent a 50% uh, uh, price increase. And then the, the fourth one would represent a 40% price increase to me. That's not a slight price increase. Uh, to me, a slight price increase is 10 to 20%. But I guess if you're comparing it to like doubling or tripling the price, yeah, it'd be a slight price increase. I guess it just depends upon the way you look at it. So, okay. So with that said, what we're looking at now is uh, a common draw is 400, a rare draw or a common draw is 150, a rare draw is 750, an epic draw is 7,500, and a legendary draw is 35,000. Minor chests are at 200, major, major chests are at 1,000, and ultimate chests are at 4,500. And I don't know if the price of, uh, I don't think these were affected, but uh, tell me in the comments if they were because uh, I'll have to go back and look at some previous videos. Um, either way, uh, I've been thinking about, let's let's jump back and see. I do have almost 900,000 glint saved up, and I do need to go ahead and get my wild pass uh, and get this account started off. Um, I just got home from work, so let's go ahead and look at how I can get, do I want to do draws or do I want to do chests? So... Okay, I had to stop and do some math. Uh, I needed to figure out what I'm going to do here. So what this math boils down to is um, on the draws. How much would it cost me to buy one set across the board? Okay, the common, you're going to get 400 draws. That equals 60,000 glint. The rare, you're going to get 100 draws. That's going to equal 75,000 glint. The epic, you're going to get 25 draws. That's 187,500 glint. And the legendary, you're going to get 10 draws, and that's 350,000 glint for a total of 672,500. Okay, now on the chest, you only have three types. You have minor, major, and ultimate. On the minor, you can get 300 chests for 60,000. Major, you can get 150 for 150,000. And the ultimate, uh, you can get 30 for 135,000 for a total of 345,000. Now, I can't, I don't have enough glint to do this across the board. But what I decided I believe I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just splurge. This, this glint's just sitting here doing nothing. Uh, if I go ahead and put it into cards, maybe the cards will help me out. I know going forward that if I go ahead and dip into modern, um, I will need these cards. Uh, and they will help out for brawls, uh, especially with me, uh, because I like the look of uh, several of these that I've seen. So what I've decided to go ahead and do is do on the draws across the board. 672,500 glint, baby. Now on the chest, I'm just going to do one set of ultimates. That's what I'm going to do. And what that's going to end up being is spending a little bit over 800,000 glint, 807,500. So um, I know this video is on the longer side. Bear with it. Lots of stuff to include. But this is me uh, diving in and setting up my account. Hopefully these new cards will help me out. So let's go ahead and go in with the common draws. Let's do 400. Um, I do have, might as well. Why not use potions? New animations, or at least the animations I haven't seen before. It's been a while since I opened a draw though, so uh, I know they've uh, the art team's steadily been working on this. So let's just go ahead and reveal them all. Um, 
Uh, obviously, a lot of these these are brand new. There's a gold foil. There's another gold foil. Uh, so it'll take take us a while to get into and start using them, uh, looking at them, see what the see what they're good for and everything. Another gold foil. That's three gold foils. Uh, once again, this is commons. These are commons. Uh, it's three gold foils so far. I don't, I don't really have any opinions, anything to say on these just yet. Uh, we'll have to take a second look in a different video once uh, this collection gets up and starts rolling. Uh, I might do a secondary video where I go ahead and, you know, do all the combines and see. There's a fourth gold foil. Uh, see where this has left me. There's a fifth, sixth gold foil. And remember, this is 400, so I don't remember exactly what the gold foil uh, rate of drop is percentage-wise. There's five gold foils so far, and this has taken a while. <laughs> I don't think I've ever opened uh, 400 of anything uh, in Splinterlands. Getting a lot of those uh, skinks. It'll be interesting. What I, what I like to see in sets is I like to see commons, or uh, there's a six gold foil. Commons are rares uh, that really show their true colors and really punch above their weight. There's a seventh gold foil, eighth. Um, cards that really become, they're common, but they're really useful and really good cards. Nine. Ten. Ten gold foils. Eleven gold foils. Ah, 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 ah. Man, this is going on for a while. Twelve gold foils. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay, so I believe if my count's on, uh, I got fourteen gold foils. And once again, it'll take a while to get in and start using them um, and looking at them to see uh, which are the, the ones that punch above their weight, so to speak. Why is this not closing? Okay. Okay, so I got my full set of commons. Let's go ahead and go with rares. Once again, let's go ahead and use the potions. Finally, these potions. I've got something to do with them. Okay. Let's, once again, uh, there's a hundred of these. Commander Slade. Mariput Slinger looks good right off the bat. Janny Rebel. Um, Chaos Adjutant. A gold foil, gold foil rare, sapphire, uh, skyfire uh, leopard, sky spire leopard, rather. I need to look on the map and see where sky spire is. Two gold foils. Okay, so I believe that's uh, dragon egg forager. And of course, that's dragon two, three, uh, five health with for five mana with opportunity. Interesting. Uh, wow, Janny Rebel. Uh, nine mana. Two damage, two speed, seven health with flank and inspire. Interesting. That's huge mana cost. I have to t check that out, though. Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, that's the rares. Now let's go ahead and go in with one set of epic draws. <clears throat> 187,500. Of course, let's go ahead and use. Crossing my fingers, reveal all. Olivia of the Brook. This is where it starts usually getting spicy. Halfling Refugee. I saw KGM Jam uh, get one of these earlier, and he was talking about it. And and you have these um, things that um, will be a red symbol, which is basically a minus to your team. But what you get is you get a card, like, for instance, Halfling Refugee. For one mana, you get a 2-3 with 6 health. 
Um, and if you go into it and you look at the stats as it levels up, it gets increasingly stronger f still for one mana. But you have some off-putting. Like, you know, like this guy has got Incendiary and uh, Shock Trooper. Love the artwork on this. This kind of reminds me of uh, uh, anime. And I'm not a big anime head, right? But my daughter likes anime, so I watch it once in a while with the, the family, right? Uh, but it kind of reminds me, and I love that. But he's got Electrified. So if you see the red symbol, that means it's going to be a minus to your team. But it also means that for the mana cost, that character uh is punching way above its weight class in other words um if it didn't have a minus to it uh it would cost a lot more mana to use so it'll be interesting to see how the meta game or how the game uh progresses with these cards added uh i like the idea but it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see which which ones float to the top and are worth taking the minuses to your team and which cards aren't and the combinations therein where you will go ahead and team this up like this halfling refugee ends up getting healing so uh it'll be interesting so let's go ahead and close that and uh let's do the final uh draw and go in with 10 legendaries which is the biggest portion of this money and or glint and it's going to be three hundred and fifty thousand. but it's just sitting there doing nothing anyway let's get some legendaries come on get some Come on, baby. Let me see a gold foil. Let me see a gold foil. Galicus. Chaos Battle Mage. Death Ranger. Endless Gibbon. Griffsy. Hey, that's one of the cards I revealed. Death Ranger again. Another Griffsy. Another Griffsy. Another Endless Gibbon. And Ember Guard. It's interesting. I really like the look of Griffsy, and we're going to have to see how that scales up. Uh, Gallicus looks uh, looks really nice uh, as far as with taunt and everything. So we'll take a look as time goes along with those. Um, now, what I wanted to do was go ahead and get one set of the ultimate chests. And sure, go ahead and use the potions. Why not? We're spending all this glint. Splurging. Okay, let's go ahead and open some chests. 2,877 merits, 2,237 merits, 15 alchemy potions, 1,258 merits. What, is this gonna be all merits? What's up with that? 1,555 merits, 1,443 merits, four energy, 1,544 merits, five energy, three energy. Did they forget to put the cards in these chests? Three energy. Well, there's a card. Eight copies of Chaos Invoker. It's a common. Um, one copy of Shock Trooper. Epic. Seven legendary potions. Uh, five more energy. I'm going to have to crank up my bot. Four energy. 1,821 merits. Uh, six alchemy potions. Seven copies of Luceheim Demon. I was looking. I th that's a common. I was just making sure it wasn't. Uh, 1,482 merits, six legendary potions. I hate to get small amounts of potions. Um, bunch of potions. Uh, okay, we got 11 copies of Taka Tag Conscript. Once again, a common, but I guess those extra BCX will help out. Um, this is interesting, combining Sneak with uh, Thorns. Hmm. Uh, 1,396 merits, three energy. Six alchemy potions, three energy, and 1,344 merits. Okay. So we will have enough to go ahead and go in and buy some um, extra um, Gladius cases. So we have 18,000, so I can buy nine Gladius cases. Okay, now um, go back and see how many bloodstones I can buy. I've got an 8% discount. So I have 20 Gladius cases that I need to open. Uh, I have enough merits left over to uh, buy eight 
Uh, not quite. Not quite. Seven. Almost. So I would need a, a total of 100 bloodstones if I wanted to cover them all. So I would need 93 more. So I'll have to see about covering this with DC. Let's go ahead and confirm that. I don't usually buy these, but I'm, I'm going all out. I'm splurging on this time around. So... Um, usually I just take whatever extra um, bloodstones I can buy with whatever extra merits I have. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and let's go into open. Like I said, we've got 20 Gladius cases to open. Let's open multiple, open them all. Use those bloodstones. This is the most splurging I've done uh, in quite a while. Last week I did fill up some of my, a few um, epics and legendary cards uh, from Chaos Legion max them out. That was a little bit of a splurge, but I was celebrating going over a thousand subscribers. Let's go ahead and open all. Uh, all right, Captain Katie, it's shaking, baby. A gold foil, gold foil sola. Let's go back and take a look at that. This is shaking again. Larissa. Okay. Okay. So I guess the top of this bunch is the uh, oh gold foil Catrulba as well. Um, gold foil Sola Rangel, uh, three times Captain Katie. Uh, let's see, those are the top. Catrelba. I still haven't maxed out Catrelba, though. We all know that she's a really great card. I like Lisa Fox. Um, Whistling Damon's great as well. I use Marisol quite a lot. Uh, and there's, uh, another copy of Larissa. So, not too bad at all. Okay, uh... I went through and I combined all the cards that I just, um, the new rewards cards we just received. And uh, I just wanted to show you what this all amounted to. Uh, so here we have the commons. And what this boils down to is most of my commons I was able to get to level four. Uh, there's a few that are still only level three, but most of them ended up being about level four. Okay, now my rares, most of them ended up being uh, level two. Uh, there's one of them that's only level one. Uh, my epics came out at level two, two, uh, two, two. Also, there's a few that only ended up being level one. And there's one that I ended up with a bunch of BCX that is almost level three, which would be the shock trooper. Um, oh, no, actually, I had one extra BCX there. Either way, they came out to about a level two. And in my legendaries, uh, most of them are just level one. There was only one I had enough to level up to level two, which was Griffsy, which uh, I, I like the look of. Uh, so uh, we'll, you know, dig deeper into what the cards do and as we get used to, you know, uh, using them as well. But with that said, um, you know, this was a big splurge for me. This is no way am I going to be able to do this every week. In fact, I kind of figured it out at about 100 to 130 uh, thousand glint per season if I keep this up uh, you know it would take me six to seven seasons to get this many cards since we opened up a bunch of gladius packs um, I thought you if you happen to be interested uh, this is where my collection stands as far as gladius cards I went through and uh, also combined them uh, I've been collecting these ever since they came out and these are the toughest ones of all the card sets to level and you can see my commons are sitting at level five. My rares are sitting at mostly level four, all level four. My epics are sitting at uh, all level three. And the significant leveling of this uh, bunch of packs was that I was able to level Marisol from two to three, which was nice because I use her frequently. And legendaries, I didn't have any leveling, but most of them sit at level one, uh, and I do have one at level two. But that's where my collection starts. Now, we'll have to go back, and I haven't bought the Wild Pass yet. Uh, that's another thing. Um, they took out the ability to use vouchers for Wild Pass, so the cost of playing in Wild has went up. Um, not a whole lot, but it still maybe went up 20 to 30%. So we can go ahead and get the Wild Pass. And... Um, I would advise using DEC because DEC is still much cheaper. It's so far below peg right now 
that uh, you would be really paying a good deal more if you used credits. But um, either way, I would use DEC at this point uh, due to the price. Uh, so that'll get up. Anyway, I hope this was uh, interesting to you. I know it's a little bit longer of a video, but there was a lot to do, a lot to buy. Uh, it's, uh, it only happens very infrequently. So uh, I figured I would get the new, uh, the new card set started off with a bang. So there you go. Uh, I think um, it's nice, and I think it was a good move that the team increased the glint that new people or bronze silver level people get in the game because it, at at those levels it was almost uh, uh, so frustrating just to get a chest or two um, that they could definitely use it especially with the new player experience as far as the new cost for everybody else uh, I'm of the opinion is a little bit too much um, and I definitely don't think that it was a minor increase I thought it was a lot of an increase and um, obviously maybe that's because they just want to keep the cards rare make the cards rare you know um, or maybe it's because they saw a lot of people on the top end stacking millions and millions of glint getting ready for this who knows I mean we're playing with the, the hand we're dealt uh, anyway uh, I got some decent cards I got some new interesting cards to read up on and um, see how it goes from there uh it should be interesting this coming saturday on my saturday morning stand up uh at 11 30 eastern time if you want to join us we talk all things splinterlands and other blockchain games um and other games such as atlas earth um but it should be interesting uh come on by uh maybe we'll have some cards to trade either way this has been bronze dragon i hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy and hey i'll see you in splinterlands with a new set of cards mm -hmm.